body feels like I'm in a race that I just wasn't prepared for. Okay. I, mean, I thought it was a sprint or maybe even like a 10K. I don't know if I'm following, but this is more like an Iron Man. I mean, it just keeps going and going and going. So you probably remember the Holderness family. They did that famous Christmas jammy video several years ago while well, they're still at it. And Kim, the wife in that video, was describing what the pandemic was doing to her. And I think she nailed it when she said, I feel like I'm in a race that I just wasn't prepared for. You know, we're eight months into the pandemic, and on some days, yes, you are not okay. In this week's It Takes a Village, we talked to a doctor and a mom who says, Mom and Dad, you're not alone. I think I have to keep going back to that, which is like, none of this is normal, right? None of us were built for this. None of us predicted this. We know Dr. Camilla Sasson as an ER doctor who gives us sound medical advice, which is much needed right now. But she's also a wife and a mom to four-year-old Madeline and five-year-old Logan. Gosh, um, so I miss them terribly, but I also want to be a good mom and I want to be a good example for them, you know, and I feel like this is, if I, if I can go help other people right now and I have to go do it even though sometimes that's going to be um, unfortunately meaning that I'm not going to be with them. Since March, her work has been taking her to COVID-19 hotspots across the country, sometimes for weeks at a time. And she takes extra steps to make sure she doesn't bring it home. I'm on a break. I go outside and I get some fresh air. Um, I eat lunch by myself. <laughs> I do a lot of things that are kind of socially isolating in many ways, but I know that that'll make sure that when I get home, I can be with my family. Camilla has a different job at home, and like all of us, she's had to make adjustments in this new normal. My standards have gotten a lot lower in my life. My house is not as clean. My bed is often not made. My kids oftentimes will wear their day pajamas and their night pajamas, but they're wearing clothes, so I call that a win. <laughs> she's learning what's most important, and that helps sift through those moments when we all just feel so overwhelmed. I and mean, I think the silver lining is, is that at the end of the day, like you figure out who matters in your life, you figure out what's important to you, and you have to kind of get all the, the rest of the noise away because honestly, everybody else is, is struggling just as much as you are. Struggling, surviving, and yes, allowing ourselves moments to wish for the way things used to be. But sometimes it's hard to not sort of kind of take a step back and be like, God, this sucks. Like, I really want my kids to go to school. I really want to be able to go out to dinner with my husband on date night. I want to be able to go to the gym and not worry about if the person next to me is wearing their mask over their nose. You know, like they're just, it's just stupid stuff that I kind of took for granted a year ago. Isn't that the truth? You know, afterwards we were talking and she was saying how that conversation was really therapeutic and it really struck, stayed with me and said and told me, yes, it's so important that we talk about how this isn't perfect. This isn't normal. We talk to each other about it. I myself have had to learn to give myself a lot of grace and also a lot of forgiveness because this has been hard. So a big thank you for to uh, Dr. Camilla for taking some time and talking to us in our village about that.